and welcome to another edition of Life or Die. I'm Gordon, the regular host, and I'm joined by Gaz. How you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good, thanks. So we're back playing Judge Dredd and playing a little bit of a spin in Judge Dredd. Um, it's a bit of a, a stealth ABC Warriors uh, report. Um, set it in the cursed earth and Nero Narcos, uh, the nefarious robot overlord, has uh, uncovered some war robots um, that he's put into his cause. So, yeah, we're using ABC Warriors mech rules for both the demo bot here and also for the war bot, so that means they should be pretty beefed up and a lot harder to put down. Um, and pretty much the notoriety is more or less double what they would normally be. So yeah, th those ones will be harder to deal with. This other robot here, the set bot, he's just going to be using the normal rules for robots. So, so guys, let's get the four of them and I've got Judge Dredd himself. And over here I've got a veteran street judge and finally I've got a senior street judge uh, around here. So we're playing a new combat mission from the ABC Warriors rulebook which means you have uh, public objectives and personal agendas. Mm -hmm. The public objectives are these ones that are just using the me tokens that you can see here, here, here and here. So the red ones are the ones that Gaz is looking to capture. The gold ones are the ones I'm looking to capture. To capture an objective, you need to move within three inches of it and there not to be another model within three inches. So for example, if Gaz moved into this area here, then he would capture it. But if I move my judge in to within three inches, it would be contested. Um, if all three objectives of your public objectives are captured um, in a given turn, then that ends the game and you get 75,000 likes. That's the other thing we're fighting for likes here, which is kind of amusing when I'm on a YouTube channel. If the models on one side are all taken out of the game, the game ends. And the other thing can end it is the, the, our personal agenda. If we succeed in our personal agenda, we can decide to withdraw and uh, end the game prematurely. The other way you can pick up likes is, do, is uh, doing a monologue double action, which I think is pretty funny. That's especially in 2008, because there's always uh, characters who are talking at length <laughs> when there's a middle of a battle so yeah I, I like that that dynamic so that's really the setup for this game so let's just get into turn one and see how it goes turn one then and one of mine good, good, good. start up obviously because you're all star chips yeah uh, you will see there's one that's not got a star chip that come out of the bag at some point but all three of my my judges are Star Trek characters, so I start with Dread. They would not to, wouldn't it? Mm. So Dread will move up. Yeah, he's attaching there so that he's. Are we facing that there? Yeah, he's facing that there. The Warbot. The Warbot, definitely. Um, and I should still be within three there, hopefully, to capture the objective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like a. Yeah, he's yeah, You would need to move someday within three to stop me getting that one this turn. The second action, Dread can do an aim shot as a snapshot so that's exactly what he's going to do. So one of the new rules about um, mechs is that the injury markers aren't as good as stunned results. Stunned results will just reduce the stats the same as the normal game would. A, um, a floppy as they're called. <laughs> a humanoid character. But the injury markers only affect, only reduce resist and they only reduce um, movement. So in actual fact it's kind of slightly advantageous to use stun weapons a lot. So Dread does it short range which allows him to use his stun pulse because it's name shot and um, because of his special rule I'm going to put the two dice into the damage. So but he still gets six dice. Uh, so that is four. So that would, that would be enough to cause a pinned uh, result on you. Mm -hmm. Normally that would be a pin, but spe robots are special and uh, they don't really pin the same way. It, it just basically, if you had two of them down on them, they can mount up and you would have minus one to kill. But what I tend to do, because <laughs> we played a, a couple of practice sessions of this, is I'm just going to spend that. I can, you, so you can basically use that to give an extra plus one to your damage roll. So that just gets removed straight away, which I'm going to take up on. So because I've got the aim shot, so I put the damage into that, so that would put it from four to six, now plus one because of the metal fatigue that I've spent. I'm gonna get a lot of damage here. Yeah. Oh, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> Three. Three, well, still pretty decent. So you get six resist yeah. against me. So you try to get two. two. So you you suffer one, one stun, which was about as good as it could have got yeah. anyway. It's not bad. Yeah. I'm gonna go for broke. 
see if I can get Dred's chip back in. Success. Success, good. So, that's that's back back in. I'm going to use a big meg cap before we draw any more chips. Empty candy. Um, nominate D3 models to get a whiff of the sweet stuff. You must pass a kill test to become pinned and stunned. So, D3 first of all. Oh, just the one. So, I think I'll put it on this guy seeing as he's already got a stun. So, you got a kill test to do for him. Yeah, so that would be three. But it's because that, I've got stun. Because you got a stun, it's two. Yep. And for a two thousand, no, you get another stun. See, so and you, and a pinned. My goodness. So that will help me with Ouch. the dealing damage as well. Okay, but yeah, not as not as great as I was hoping for. One of yours. Okay. Not a star chip, so. Right. Sorry. So what's slightly different about the the metal fatigue? Is that normally you would do a kill test to see if you could shake off that? It's not, it's permanent unless you use a shake it off. So you don't get that free test um, that you would normally get for a, a model. So if you want to get rid of his metal fatigue, you need to do a shake off for that. And then it would be a shake it off for each stun. I would suggest you might want to get rid of the two stuns because they're the ones that are reducing your stats. Yes, that's probably what I am going to spend all my actions on this turn. Let's get rid of these. Yep. That's him. That's him done. What I mean again, yeah. non star chip. I'm going to move my little security bot. I'm just going to move him uh, close to that five marker. Yep. Yeah, cool. I'm just going to jam him into the, the bottom of that terrain, but that'll take him uh, yeah, three inches. His weapons are quite short range, so. But yeah, I'm just going to claim that as my first. Yeah, but you can you could you could move on next time yeah, once yeah. you've captured it if you want. So to. yeah, because there is yeah, a list your opponent comes within three inches of that and uh, the rest of the game that's that's permanently mine. Yes, exactly. I'm gonna play uh, a big meg card, mm -hmm. which is one hell of a shot. One model may immediately take an aimed fire action, ignoring penalties for long range gunfighters may also reroll missing. Okay. So I'm gonna attack. Dread. So that means you can turn them if you wish to. Good. I'm also going to play Synthiflakes <laughs> on Dread, which reduces his stats by one, and he is pinned as well. That will give me a better chance to at least uh, give him some aggro, if nothing else. Yeah, it means I can't use my gunfighter back if it's triggered. Yeah. So, yep, do you want so to that's turn? pretty good. I'll turn to face you. Yep. And which weapon are you using? I'm going <laughs> to use what gives me the best chance. So I'm going to use my Inbalt Rocket Launcher, mm -hmm. Power 5, um, within, within short range, which is 10 inches. So that gives me a modifier of plus 1. Yeah. So that gives me 6 to hit. Yeah. Three. 3. Not enough to pin, but... Okay, so the Synthi Flakes reduce Dreads uh, evade by 1, so he's still got 3 evade. It's usually 4. He fails his evade. Yeah, I've got 5 dice. For my power from my rocket launcher. Yes. Pins. One, two, two. Dread usually has five resist, um, but he's down to four and he gets plus two for the hard cover in the Minox. Only gets one, so you get two, don't you? So, mm -hmm. so he suffers an injury marker. Nice. Good use of cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I was lucky in the draw there. You this time? Yeah. She's my senior street judge. Okay, so for our first action, I've just made a move action, um, which takes me within three of the objective, um, and I can also see Nero Narcos. So with our second action, it's going to take a snapshot at Nero Narcos, um, and she's at long range just. Uh, so three dice. Uh, she does get a hit. One evade. Failed his evade. Nope. Power. Two. Oh, man. But got five. You're attached. You're attached uh, to cover, though, yeah. so you get plus two to that. So seven to resist. Two. two. Don't receive any wounds, but you do receive a stun to a zero result. So she's going to go for broke, I think, because she's a kill five character, so they would not to. Two thousand D. Get yeah, multiples. <laughs> so she's back in the bag. Right, I'll try my best not to draw her back out again. <laughs> Oh, one of me. Yeah. Oh, and I've got my star chip. So I think I'll come straight back at you because what you did was very rude earlier on. <laughs> so do you want to shake off that stun that you're carrying? No, that's turn because I can only do aimed fire. Ah, you've got a grenade launcher, isn't it? Yep. If I 27 grenade launcher, it says here. Yeah, so I've got 10 inches short range, so that gives me a plus one modifier to my measly two to hit okay. my weapon. So that gives me three. 
Well, you one. do get hit three of eight. And I do get so, it. You get it. Normally that would trigger my gunfighter, normally I would take it back, but because it's a burst area weapon, the way that I play it anyway, you've got to move the three inches out of the way so you're not going to suffer the power of it. So I will I will do that. Okay, and she's dodging across there. It's putting her into the open, but I need to capture the objective. If I move the other way, then I wouldn't capture it this turn. You want to go for broke, or because you got a star chip in there? Yes, I think I will. Because that is fun. So three for my cool lamp. Uh -uh. Oh no, he is pinned in because of that. Okay, back in the bag. Right, back into the bag. Okay, one of mine. <laughs> before you go, I'm going to play my last big meg card before you go. It's Muns for Brains. It's the next model that your opponent activates must pass a kill test. If they fail, they only get one single action. But she has a kill five character, so I've got a decent chance. Of it was worth a go. Yeah, yep. she's fine. Okay, so she will move back to where she is and she'll take us another snapshot at Nero Narcos. Three dice. Uh, it does hit. Two hits. I don't have any evade left. Good. <laughs> uh, and she gets four damage. Two. Okay. Try and kill. Get rid of two of them. <sighs> uh, one. One. Yeah. Um, so that is a injury marker. He suffers. And she'll go for Brock. Which she succeeded. Oh, she I thought it was all armors there for a sec. Shoe again. Yeah, she's going to see if she can put Narcos down. I mean, that would be that would be a good snapshot. That's again. Power. Oh, four. Oh, man. So I'm definitely getting a. You're definitely getting a stun at least. Uh, one. Yep, so that inflicts three injury markers, which basically takes him down. That's he's so majestic looking, but I know. Never even got a chance to monologue. Paint your face. <laughs> hey, look. Oh, wait, wait a minute. He's one of my guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to push her luck this time. She's not got that much to lose, but uh, maybe I could. For it. What the hell? <laughs> okay, after an internal monologue there, <laughs> I'm going to go for broke. Uh, and she fails, that's what I get for being greedy. Good. <laughs> Pins, but she's not really in any danger, so I'm not exactly worried about it. Yours? One of mine. Uh, so it's, well, yeah, there's only one. Demo bot. I'm going to. Because mm, he's very handy with these fists. Mm -hmm. And very poor at long range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him round the corner. And yeah, it's because you get the double. It's a double action, isn't it? An fire shot you need to do for shooting. So yes, yes, that's going to stop you a wee bit there. It does, yeah. Unless you get within three inches of me, please do that next turn. <laughs> Maybe not, because I know about the piercing rending business that's going on with him. I like to rend. <laughs> okay, so yep. I'm back in the bag. Draw your last chip. Oh, or well, maybe not. Yeah, I've got two. Right, I think I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll activate Dread, um, who will do a kill test to see if he can shake off his hand. So he ignores that injury marker because he's Dread. Um, he does fail though, so mm. he's going to have to spend a, an action to shake it off, but he will use a, an aim shot with his second shot because he's Dread. Okay, so he's at short range, so he gets plus one. Six dice, yeah, three hits. Oof. So that would cause a metal fatigue. So I could leave them there, and that would mean you'd, you'd have minus one to your kill, but it doesn't particularly help me because I'm, you're trying to get more wounds than your uh, or stuns than your resist. So I'm looking really to deal some damage here. So I'm going to spend both of those. I'm going to take both those metal fatigues off you, and that's going to give me a plus two to my power. Dread is using an aim shot, and he's going to throw the power into his aim shot. So he's going to have a whopping eight dice. That's cool. No, it is For me. <laughs> Four. Four. And you're looking for five armors, ideally. Aye, right. I'll totally get that. Watch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> two. Two. So you take two injury markers, which are leaks in this case. Yep. They don't actually reduce your... Well, they reduce your resist and they reduce your move, but they don't reduce other stats. So you, you can just... You're shooting all that's unimpeded. And because I've got a chip left in the bag, I think Dread will push it as well. Uh, Success. 
we know it's only my two left. So, yep. Dread again is going to try and push home the advantage. Oh, in fact, I'll do the aim shot, s snapshot thing, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm hit. Not enough to pin this time, not, so you won't get metal fatigue. Plus the damage for the aim shot. Uh, three. Six minus two. Yeah, because the. Yeah, the resist goes down. I get two. So another injury marker. All right, I'm leaking all over the place here. Uh, and Dread will make a snapshot this time. The second action. Uh, hits but doesn't cause uh, metal fatigue. Power two. Two, and I'm now down to three for my resist. Yeah. We've got two. Two, so it's just a stun. It's, you're dangerously close. To I am dangerously close. Um, and Dread will. <laughs> Try to keep the pressure on. Kill test. Fails this Fail. time. Oh, that's a terrible shame. <laughs> Unlucky. Man. I feel like I had to go for it though, because there was a chance to get rid of the war bot. And last chip out the bag is yep. my fellow down. Yep. So you've manoeuvred yourself annoyingly. <laughs> <laughs> so you're out of line of sight, so I'm going to have to make a move action. Uh, so if I come around that side, are you happy with that? Yep, that looks fine to me. You can definitely see me. Cool. And then make a snapshot as well. And he'll use the stun pulse because uh, he's at short range. Five dice. And yep, that's a metal fatigue as well. Mm -hmm. So just, you're going to take it straight back yeah, off. Yeah. Straight back off. Do you have an uh, evade? For who is Dem that? Sorry? Demo bot. Demo bot. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> the war bot has got an evade. It's demo bot that doesn't have an evade. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to. Add that metal fatigue gets me plus one to my power, so five. Oh, rubbish. Nothing. So three? Yeah, I, you, you only did one, uh, so it's totally fine. And I'm not going to try and return it because it's the last chip out of the bag, so yes. that's the end of the first turn. So you've captured your objective four and you've c captured your objective five, um, whereas I've captured two and objective three so we'll get two two objectives each which means we're going into another turn another rule about the abc warriors uh, is that the quicker this is over <laughs> the more the, the audience will like it because you're a fickle lot you audience <laughs> like it's short and sweet yeah exactly into turn two then oh okay Warriors. yeah it's going to be dread hasn't oh. it might be the main man. <laughs> First of all, he's going to try and get rid of these pinned marks. So that's a kill test. We succeed. succeeds. That's oh, cool. Well done. Um, his first action will use his aimed short special ability thing. Uh, so it's a short range. I'll use a stun pulse against you because I want to inflict as many stuns on you as I can. Uh, oh, so that's, that's four. Yeah, so that's going to cause a metal fatigue, which that will is. allow me. They'd be just applying and then un, un, un applying to yeah. give you your bonus. So that would take me to five dice and, a, and it was an aim shot, so two into the damage as well. Stun pulse though. Uh, four. One. One. So that's a maximum three stuns that I'm going to inflict on you there. Wow. What? Three new stuns? Three new stuns, yeah. Oh, that'll make me fall over. <laughs> Yes, that will put you down. <laughs> However, Dread isn't satisfied because the mech rules allow you to kind of try and resurrect effectively dead characters and repair yourself. So Dread wants to keep applying the pain. So he's going to do a second shot, which will be a snapshot this time. Again, stun pulse. Uh, okay, so that's three, uh, which means another metal fatigue. Yeah. Uh, so that's two. You don't have any resist, so it's just you're just taking two, two stuns. Or two, two stuns. stuns. Yeah. yeah, of course, because you're using stun on me. Yeah. That's quite the collection I've got there. Many Eight. have you got there now? Eight, five stuns and three injury markers. Okay, but I need 12 to actually you do. take you right out of the action. So mm -hmm. Dread will try and return his chip to the bag. You fail. You fail. So he is pinned again. Okay, I was just looking at the, the rules again there from the mechs. So, in actual fact, your warbot is dead. And the reason it's dead is because I was applying all these stuns, which affect all stats. So that means mean you don't have any cool left no, to I'm actually get, regenerate. Yeah, I've got three to start off with, so I'm on minus three cool. <laughs> which I don't think there's any dice that 
yeah. let me go that low. Whereas if I'd, if I'd been applying these leaks on you, that wouldn't have done anything to reduce your cool at all. So that's why using stun weapons against uh, robots and using the mech rules is the way to go, basically. So yeah, I'm quite happy about that now. Um, yeah, that was a powerful series of rules. Yeah, definitely. So unfortunately, he is definitely out of the fight. Yes, unrevivable. Never mind, I've got two left and one of them's a policeman with a stick. <laughs> So it is me to go, I'm going to activate, um, not him, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to activate this guy, I'm going to, how close I am to you actually? There is five I would say, yeah. So what does that enable me to do with this chap, I wonder? Yeah, I'm going to stay where I am, I'm going to fire my rivet gun at you. Short range is six, which I'm within, which gives me a modifier of plus two. Does it have any rules on it? Uh, aimed fire only. Okay, so he's only get one shoot, but because of your plus two at short range, yep. three dice. Oh, nice. Two. Two. Three evades. Uh, does one. succeed. Yes. yes, and I'll gunfighter you. And yeah, he's going to do the same as what Dread did and use his stun pulse. Okay, he does just scrape a hit. I'm dealing four power. Uh, two. Two. I've got. A pretty hefty resist. Yeah, it also give you the hard cover as well. So that, that wedge between the rocks. How much is hard cover? Plus two. Plus two, so that's eight. Two to beat. Uh, two. Yeah, so I still take a stun then. Okay, back in. Yep. You. Okay, uh, I think this judge will continue. Seeing I'm just kind of bullying <laughs> whoever I can get rid of that's first and then move on to the next one. So again, I'm going to use stun pulse short range. Going for this. Five dice, two hits. Now, you've got a stun on there, so that One reduces stun. your cool, so that will mean a metal fatigue, but I'm just going to spend it straight away yep. and put it into the damage. So, five, uh, three, One. One. Two stuns in, so that was his first mm, snapshot. So, do another one. Three again, that's going to add to the metal fatigue, which means five, five dice again. Mm -hmm. Another three. Another three. And I have got three, because I've got three stuns. Yep. One, two. Two. So just just one more stun. Just one more stun. <laughs> uh, still not enough to put him down. Mm. Do I want to go for broke with this guy? I usually regret it, but I will. Yes, I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my last judge then. So I have captured this objective. Um, I was thinking about sprinting, but I don't think she can really get through all this terrain. So she's going to make two moves. First move takes her to there, takes her beyond that rock formation. So she's out of sight of the, the demo bot is the main thing. But she will go for broke as well, because <laughs> I'm just too greedy. Nope, nope. She's pinned as well. So it's not going to get stopped this turn. <laughs> no. Um, which means obviously. My little cute sec bot is the only one left. Yep. So he's already claimed his token. Yep. I could get in behind that wee rock with two moves. But I could also get in behind that wee rock with a sprint and I'd get a moving fast token. Oh my D6 to see how many extra inches I get. Two. two. Which is actually that gets me right in here and these rocks. There. So he's yep. definitely line of sight with this guy and she's not right. Yep. And he gets them moving fast. Right, that's his turn done, that's turn two. Again, the objectives, nothing's actually changed at all. You still get that one, uh, that one, and I've got the other two. So you really need to defend this because as soon as I get that, that's game over and mm -hmm. In your turn then. I hope I can actually last to the end of this turn. <laughs> we get a turn four maybe. Oh, well. Yeah, the lights are going down because we're in the turn three here. Yeah. So I'm going to play an armory card. Okay. Oops, throwing them all over the place. I've got a repair kit. So I'm going to use try and use Hunker Down mm -hmm. with the man with all the stuns on it. Brilliant. That's a great card. Don't, so I don't even need to roll for this, do I? It just does. But yeah, it's it's a bit like a med. It's basically the robot equivalent of a med pack. Yeah, so it removes all those, all that 
lovely damage I'd built up on you there. Excellent. We know you're claiming the, the cover because you were in the nook. Okay, and that's him back in there. That's so you're activating him. Oh, no, I don't. Sorry, that was yes, his that's hunker down. So that is him this time. But I might as well play my other cards, my other armory cards now, when yeah. I can, before um, you send your law enforcement, I'm going to call them, laughingly. <laughs> and after me, I've got anti mugging suit, so I'm going to put that on my policeman. Uh, and that gives me a bit of I, perhaps fight back when uh, if somebody comes into close combat with me. One for me. Yep. So if I move my little policeman, he will move lose yeah. his moving fast. He will. Yeah. So I just want to shoot you with a stun because mm -hmm. I think it would be funny. I don't think I'm going to win. So I'm just going to pop out a tiny wee bit. So yeah. would you say that's now? Yeah, that's fine. Still attached to the cover, but I can just fire over it. Yeah. So and I've got. Uh, I'm going to use. I've got eight inches for my short range with my electro zap pistol. With a power of three, but a modifier of plus three because I'm in short range. Okay. So that gives me a good, a decent chance at Hitting. inflicting yep. a stun on you at least. One. Yep, that's good enough. Okay, I've had three. It does succeed, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it doesn't. Does your, your yeah, I can, pin do it? doesn't do anything. It means I can't. Use my gunfighter, right. but I'm going to use the three inches to move around the rock and really annoy you. Okay, so obviously it's my three left. We'll start with this guy here. And try and shake off his pin. Fails. So first action, remove the pin. And second action, I'll snapshot the, the robot. And I'll use stun pulse again. Uh, three hits. So that's equal to your kill. So if it's yes. a metal fatigue which I'll throw into the damage. So five dice with the stun pulse. Oof, four. four. I'm saying I'm being very generous for this hard cover by the way. Because of the angle that I have now. Yeah, but I'm supposed to be like in behind kind the wedge right? Yeah. He's too big to fit in the cover that he's using. <laughs> Ugh, one. Yeah, so it was maximum three stuns. Three stuns. So I'm back in exactly the same position I was at the start of this. Yeah. Which is not bad, I suppose. And no, it's not great either. But yeah, and I've got no way back now either. I've yeah. used all my cards. I fail, so he's pinned again. Okay, back in I again. You again, anyway. A senior street judge here. She'll try and unpin herself. Nope. Shake it off. Yeah, she's kind of useless this turn because now... Well, well now I might put her back in the bag. Okay, I've just come round to the front there. Have I got a line of sight, do you think? To sec bot? Yeah, sec Yeah, bot. definitely. So I want to... Yeah, I want to go for broke. Don't have much to lose. And Got I it. do get it. Yep. So that goes straight back, back in. in the bag. Pull it out again because it's the only chip left, right? No, oh, uh, Dread's still got a chip. That's right. I forgot. I thought it was the last chip in the bag. I thought you were really pushing your luck there. I do still have two in the bag, so... Uh, yeah, she's going to activate again, so she's going to stun pulse him again, so five dice, uh, two, uh, so he's no evade, so, so four power, only one. Only one. He's got so, quite high resist though, he's got five. Yeah, but it's stun pulse, so I'm going to deal a stun regardless, mm -hmm. um, and that's the best I can do, so you don't even need to roll, let's just place a stun. Yeah, okay. And she'll do a second snapshot. I'll get hit, and she gets three this time, so that's metal fatigue, and that'll mean I'll do five damage. Week. And <laughs> four power. Four. <laughs> oh, four. So I still just deal a single oh, stun right. to her. She'll go for broke again. She Success. does it. <laughs> oh dear. She's dear, gonna dear. yeah re reactivate straight to roll to hit. Uh, again, metal fatigue, five dice, and it's again stun pulse all the way. Yep. Three. And five normally, so three. Mm. Another stun, just death by a thousand cuts mm. here. This is looking grim. Again. <laughs> uh, again, metal. Oh no, metal fatigue doesn't apply here. I've been doing that wrong there. Okay, sorry, I was getting myself mixed up there. Um, I was used, thinking this guy was using the mech rules. He's not, he's just a normal robot, and normal robots 
just get this up based on the cool. I also shouldn't be dealing out the metal fatigue, but as it happens, it didn't actually matter at all because I was always going to inflict one stun regardless of each of those hits, so no outcome was really changed, but he is definitely dead. Um, and she does have a second action, so she will push up. Can she reach around here to... Six inches, are we talking? Yeah. Yeah, easy. Shift around it. I'm just going to not worry that. about I'm not even going to worry about the cover. I'm just going to... Uh, I'll put you in it anyway. Yeah. I'm just going to try and put our chip back in again. Uh, not that time she's pinned. Yeah. Just Dread left. Dread is going to monologue. <laughs> <laughs> He says something to the effect of uh, Nero Narcos, you, you thought you were above the law, but the law has taken you down today. Something along those lines, probably. It's a, it's a bit uncharacteristic of Dredd, because he's a man of few words. Um, but uh, I will explain the reason for that. Even though no objectives have changed hands, we're still in the same situation of two objectives each. My personal agenda I rolled a two beforehand in secret, uh, which is Death Unlimited, which is inflict a leak or injury on each enemy model, and I definitely successfully did that. <laughs> so I can call, bring the, this proceedings to an end with that, make a withdrawal, and also got my, my extra likes for Dread as well, D3 times 10,000, four. Okay, so that was a D3, so that means two times 10,000, so that was 20,000 likes for that, and the personal agenda was 50,000, so 70,000. I'm assuming that you didn't do it. What was your personal My agenda? My personal agenda was kill dread. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh well, sorry about that. Sorry it was a bit one-sided. I, I think the fact that the robots seem to have kind of aimed actions is making them suffer there, really. Aye, they're at a disadvantage. There must be a strategic way of playing it that I haven't unlocked yet that would let you use those to your advantage but it seems you can't shoot unless you're already in position hmm. it's the initial placement i think that uh was letting me down there possibly having nero narcos with them because he can deal out a, a single action which would allow them to maneuver into position but that would mean, then mean grouping them together i suppose if you put them as a group capture one objective and then yeah maybe you know, that's the way of doing it maybe you're just supposed to plow through as a team but so. we'll see i'm sure we'll play this scenario again yeah, I'm sure we will. Um, try it with different forces and see how it goes. So yeah, it was quite interesting. It was fun because it added a totally different dynamic to the game. Yeah, thanks for thanks for Aye, the game. Pleasure. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider commenting, liking, and most of all, subscribing. And until next time, keep on living the life or die.